Good evening, my victim. With February almost over, I decided to take a moment and answer some interview questions. This one was sent in by Tori Danielle from pophorror.com. She says, Malvolia, thank you for taking the time out of your busy schedule to talk with me. I'm a huge fan of your work. Thank you, darling. When did you decide to come out of the shadows and entertain your fans? Well, it was many, many years ago when one of my victims said that I reminded him of a horror hostess on television. And throughout the years, that idea has been brewing inside me. So one day I thought, why not open up my layer doors and expose myself to the human world? Kind of like reality TV. What is your ideal victim? Oh. One that won't stop screaming. In your spare time, you host horror shows. What's your favorite type of horror movie to sink your teeth into? Well, while I do adore haunted houses, and I crave revenge films, I honestly will love something that's just bloody terrifying. I know you have a love for the holidays. Which is your favorite one and why? Oh, darling. It's so hard to choose. I mean, I love Thanksgiving because we're reminiscing about the past. And I did love showcasing my Kilmas list this year for Xmas. Halloween will always have a soft spot on my non-beating heart. Because that's the one year I can get away with dragging victims around and not get caught. If you could meet and work with any woman in, ho in the horror industry, past or present, who would it be? Well, vi well, Vampira, of course. I mean, I would totally sacrifice myself for that ghoul. How do you like to cook your victims? I mean, your meals. Oh, darling, you never cook. Always raw. I love my flesh gushing with blood and chewy. I'm most scared to ask, but Malvolia, what are you? Oh, darling, a ghoul never reveals her dark secrets. Do you have any upcoming projects and, and events coming up? Well, yes. Uh, we all probably saw that 1031 Part 2 is coming back, and yours truly will be hosting throughout the whole film this time. And uh, human filmmaker Dustin Ferguson has collaborated with me, and I will be hosting five feature films that we'll be bundling up and throwing out into the world. And I've been conjuring some ideas up for season three. And her last question to me is, what does being a woman in horror mean to you? It allows me the power and freedom to be me, to connect with people that are like me. And I'm doing it by killing one victim at a time. <laughs> oh, lunch is ready. Well, that is all for today, my victims. Pleasant nightmares.